Driving while texting or on the phone is a very dangerous thing to do. Driving and texting is as much more dangerous as driving under the influence of alcohol. They just charge it, put the refills, <clears throat> and they give the smoker the nicotines. And doesn't have any tobacco inside. Actually, it's helped a lot of people to quit smoking tobacco. Five, uh, five stick like this, and each stick for like probably for two, three days. Their heavy smoker is like for two, three days. It's just regular smoker, probably for the whole week or 10 days, each refills. Came with the, with the small case, with the four refills, two cigarettes and uh, car chargers and house chargers. The whole box is like $99. A lot of people, they buy it online. His nesting place was founded by Pastor Al Howard and his wife, Judy, in 1983, when they helped an unwed mother in a crisis pregnancy situation. His nesting place is located in a warm, cozy complex in Long Beach, California, and has become one of the largest extended pregnancy care facilities in the greater Los Angeles metropolitan area. The facility has the capacity to accommodate up to 40 women and children. It is one of the only homes of its kind that will accept a woman who already has children. place is totally funded by churches and individuals who believe in the Lord. We get no state help, we get no government help, no funding from government, from the state or anything like that. Graffiti is found in urban areas all across the U.S. Strange, spray-painted symbols and numbers sprawled along wooden fences and bubbled letters pop out of ancient concrete buildings. The messages of these cryptic writings have no meaning to most people, yet it is the language of countless graffiti writers and gang members across the nation. Gangs, vandalism, obscenities are the components of graffiti that are widely witnessed. But there's another artistic side caught between the worlds of law enforcement and the crime-plagued gangland. Drivers can lose substantial cognitive awareness with the situation on the road when they divert their attention away for any reason. I know, I really like it. It's probably for my, for my well being. I use it in and out while I drive. I think it's bad, but you shouldn't do it. Driving while texting or on the phone is a very dangerous thing to do. Driving and texting is as much more dangerous as driving under the influence of alcohol. One of the best ways to enforce 
No texting while driving is to forego the practice yourself. For OC News, this is Eddie Barajas. The recession combined with record unemployment are forcing retailers and consumers to think outside the bag. This season, cash is king. Many consumers are putting away their credit cards and spending cash instead. Shopping malls across the country are decked with sales as the holiday season gets underway. But even with plenty of fanfare, both retailers and shoppers seem to be reining in their expectations. The days of the holiday spending spree are a thing of the past, as more people are tightening their gift-giving budgets as they search for as many deals as possible. Stores have also ramped up their sales early to capture as many shoppers as they can. While retailers search for ways to motivate the consumer, shoppers don't have to look any further than children's toys to see further proof this is a tight year as some of the hottest selling toys are also the cheapest. For OC News, this is Eddie Barajas. Coming up on OC News, a Cal State Fulton student eats 13 and a half hot dogs in five minutes. And imagine getting from Anaheim to Las Vegas in less than two hours without having to fly. All this and more coming up on OC News. Hi, I'm Eddie Barajas. And I'm Diana Griffin. OC News is produced entirely by broadcast journalism students at Cal State Fullerton. It seems that everyone is talking about the swine flu these days, whether the buzz is about where to get a flu shot or about a friend who has contracted the flu. Jackie Rodriguez and Amy Davis asked students on campus how they feel about the infamous H1N1 virus. Last week's aid, Awareness Day, brought up a subject that no one wants to talk about, but everyone should be informed about, STDs. Krishana Fisiu has more on this growing problem. We also have the highlights from the first annual hot dog eating competition on campus. Stay tuned. A crowd of students gathered in the quad to participate in the first annual CSUF hot dog eating competition. Sandy Gimiani was there hungry for the details. For the students who are stressed about finals, the International Association of Business Communicators is offering free massages on Tuesday, December 8th from 7 to 9 p.m. in the Titan Student Union, room Alvarado AB. The club hopes that this event will provide a bit of fun and relaxation before the stress of finals week. For more information or to learn about a IABC, email iabc.csuf at gmail.com. Up next on OC News, the San Diego Chargers are on fire. We'll tell you more about the game that continued their winning streak. The Los Angeles Lakers have always been the team to beat, but with this season swap of Trevor Ariza for Ron Artest, some say that this is a huge cost of stability. Nevertheless, most remain hopeful that the Lakers may still have the goods to rule the West. Christine Swanford and Amy Davis asked around to find out what Cal State Fulton students predict, predict about this Lakers season and the playoffs. In entertainment news, after 25 successful years, Oprah Winfrey, the queen of daytime, announced that she will be retiring. Her last show will air September 11, 2011, which will leave a huge void in daytime television. Sarah Ronaghi and Sandy Nunez set out to ask Cal State Fullerton students who they, will, who they think that will be the next queen of talk shows. Well, that's our show for today. From all of us here at OC News, thank you for watching and have a great day. Good well, job. Um, <laughs>